Good morning, and welcome to Christ the King. Today we celebrate the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. There will be a second collection for the Triennial Collection for the Military Services of the Archdiocese. Please take a moment to silence your cell phones and electronic devices. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge God's divine mercy as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. One of the brothers, speaking for the others, said, What do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At the point of death, he said, you accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life, but the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws that we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cruel sport. He put out his tongue at once when told to do so, and bravely held out his hands as he spoke these noble words. It was from heaven that I received these. For the sake of his laws, I disdain them. From him, I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. After he had died, they tortured and maltreated the fourth brother in the same way. 
When he was near death, he said, It is my choice to die at the hands of men with the hope God gives of being raised up by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, Hear O Lord, a just suit, attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. My steps have been steadfast in your paths. My feet have not faltered. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my word. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, that I in justice shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. Finally, brothers and sisters, pray for us so that the word of the Lord may speed forward and be glorified as it did among you, and that we may be delivered from perverse and wicked people, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. We are confident of you in the Lord that what we instruct you, you are doing and will continue to do. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the endurance of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ is the firstborn of the dead. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, uh, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless, then the second and the third married her, and likewise all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had, married, had been married to her. Jesus said to them, the children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels. And they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush when he called out, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus promises us the gift of mercy and the gift of resurrection from the dead. 
we follow the example of Jesus in his life, death, passion, and resurrection. During this month of November, we remember our faithful departed. We have prayed for all the saints. We uh, have prayed for the souls. We have prayed for our loved ones. And traditionally, November is a time for us, if possible, of course, to visit the graves of family members and friends and to pray over them. We know that we have intercessors from heaven, that they are praying for us, and we pray to them to give us the knowledge and grace that they are with God, seeing him face to face, and what a beautiful vision that must be. When someone passes away, there is a uh, emptiness in our life. Life has changed. And hopefully our faith gives us consolation in knowing that the faithful departed are with God, that God takes care of them as he promised he would do. And that vision that we of our faithful departed seeing God face to face and sitting around the heavenly table at, in heaven with all the saints and angels, what a beautiful gift that must be that is so aptly described in the book of Revelation, that heavenly banquet, if you will, of seeing God face to face. These readings today talk about a lot of death, and part of that is, is because we believe in the, <clears throat> in the resurrection, but it's also getting close to the end of our liturgical year, which will in a few weeks be this feast of Christ the King, and then we will begin a new liturgical year with the season of Advent. We hear in the gospel about the Sadducees. We can always remember what the Sadducees believe in because it starts out with sad. They are sad because they do not believe in the resurrection. They believe that all, that this is it. And we understand through faith, I hope, that this, what we live here on earth is a pilgrimage meant to have a good time, but we also know that we must be servants of God and that suffering is a part of our life and so is death and resurrection. And so we pray to our faithful departed and we ask God to give us peace in knowing that they are praying for us. Traditionally, we read the names of those faithful departed that we have been responsible here at Christ the King to bury over the past year. John Ehlers, Jack Baker, Joseph Bellany, Richard Carlin Sr., Michael Cunningham Sr., Patrick Donovan, Jerry Lou Durbin, Patricia Espich, Cindy Flayton, Neil Gerdes, Thomas Hebenstreet, Linda Krupp, Jack Lichtenberg, Teresa Luger, William Miller, Jerry Przbilski, Mickey Quinn, Timothy Radigan, Rex Rader, Raymond Rohana, Yvonne Santoro, Cliff Seifert, Joanne Sherry, Carolyn Sullivan, Kathleen Marie Tinder, Irene Woolen, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their soul and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. 
he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gracious God, we humbly ask you to hear our prayers of faith, our prayers of petition. For God's chosen people in every land, that they persevere in the face of apathy as well as persecution, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the discernment of vocations, that God may show the faithful their calling in each of their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For widows and widowers, that families and communities provide the support they need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are poor, sick, or near death, that they find solace and sustenance in the Christian community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Carol and Sullivan, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all young people may choose a vocation that is pleasing to God, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Today's second collection, as we heard, was for the military services. Let's pray for the chaplains and the support that we can give, uh, if possible, financially, certainly with our prayers, that the Catholic Church may be present to our men and women of the military who are serving in various parts of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord. We thank you, God, for hearing our prayers, those spoken, those within our hearts. Please grant us a peaceful day through Christ our Lord. us. Have a great day, okay? Thanks. Thank you. So to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Put the mystery of this water and wine that we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. the altar too. Thanks. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Bishop, all the clergy, all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, 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 all peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ the body of Christ the body of Christ the body of Christ amen
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the, uh, by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure. In those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ the King would like to invite you to the newly reorganized and re-energized pro-life group. This group's mission is to uphold the dignity of the human person from, from conception through all of life. For more information about how to get involved, check the bulletin. The KFC Charity Breakfast will be next Sunday, November 12th, from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the North Side Events Center. The breakfast will benefit Hollis Adams. November 6th to 12th is National Vocation Awareness Week. Christ the King will have a holy hour for vocations and benediction of the Blessed Sacrament at 3 p.m. today, Sunday, November 6th, in the church. All are invited. Please check the bulletin or contact the parish office for more information. The 8th grade class is sponsoring Bingo Night next Saturday, starting at 6 p.m. in Tui Hall. A few seats remain. Join your friends for a fun night of games and raffles. Call the parish office or see the bulletin or parish newsletter for more information. Thanks for being here. It's nice to see so many good uh, number, great number of people here. Uh, I can tell you had an extra hour of sleep, so you look well rested. <laughs> The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace.